Hey everyone, it's Jack from whatculture.com. Back again, once again, back again, once again, at Supercard of Honor. Back again, once again. Back again, once again. And I'm joined by none other than Jay Lethal. How are you doing? Uh, as good as I can be for just having a bull rope match, but I would say pretty good. Cool. Well, I was just about to ask you about that match because it was, it was, I found it a really good match in terms of like, this is really cool. You guys came out, you went all out. You came out in the old school attire. Cody had a motorcycle. Uh, how much fun was it for you? Uh, zero. Right. Uh, it was more so nerve-wracking uh, just because it's our biggest show. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our biggest crowd that we've ever had here in America for Ring of Honor. Uh, it's a bull rope match. The history of the match, Cody Rhodes' dad made this match famous. Therefore, he probably had a little secrets, a couple secrets that I didn't have. Uh, so I, I just felt there was a lot to put into this match, especially since everyone here on the Ring of Honor roster, what really drives us is this healthy competition yeah. and every match is trying to top the match that just had, the match that will happen after, and the matches that happened last week and last month and last year. Uh, so that's getting harder and harder to do when there's matches on the show like the Young Bucks versus the Hardy Boys in a ladder match. Uh, so I just had that added pressure, but overall I thought it was pretty good. Cool. Um, you guys were both pretty beat up after the match, uh, yeah. you were both bleeding. Yeah. Um, that cowbell is unforgiving. Right, okay. Um, well, I guess I was going to ask you, first of all, have you ever had a Texas bull rope match before in your career? Nope. That was my first Texas bull rope match uh, and hopefully my last right. Texas bull rope match. Uh, uh, I, I, another human being was pretty much tied to my wrist, um, which does restrict your movements a lot. Uh, it was quite scary and to me quite dangerous. I mean, that cowbell can, that thing is solid. I mean, I hope I'm never in one again. Okay. Well, I was, my, my, the second part of that question I was going to say was, uh, did you have to undergo any sort of special preparation or did you just approach it like no, any I other match? It was, it was, I mean, like I said, his dad is Dusty Rhodes, yeah. so he had like an unfair advantage. Yeah. Uh, I was the one with all the pressure behind me. Um, but yeah, I, I felt it was very unfair. This was like his match, but I won, so. Oh, oh how convenient. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how convenient. Yeah. Right. Uh, and finally, um, Obviously, you, you had that very, very long reign, very impressive reign as Ring of Honor World yeah, Champion. Yeah. Uh, sadly, that is no longer sadly. ongoing. Um, but what's next for Jay Lethal in Ring of Honor? Hmm. You know, I, 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 I don't know. Um, everybody wants to be the world champion, so I, would, I guess I would have to say that I'll be the next Ring of Honor World Champion. But if you asked me that a few months ago, I would have said I was, I'd be the next Ring of Honor World Champion. Not, never did in my wildest dreams that I think I would be in a program or feuding with Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Uh, someone his, his caliber, he's been all over the world. So I kind of just like taking this one day at a time. I mean, eventually I'd love to become the two-time Ring of Honor World Champion. Uh, but, and I don't know. I, you know, also I'm afraid to set goals in wrestling because I've never really set goals up until this point, okay. and great things have happened. Yeah. So if I set a goal, maybe I might jinx myself. Well, that sounds wonderful. Jay, thank you very much for talking to us. Um, I've been Jack from WhatCulture.com, the one and only Jay Lethal, and we'll see you soon.